Hey guys, it's Ryder here with my Arrow Season 5, Episode 10. Who are you? Recap and review. Yes, it's an interesting title for an episode of Arrow, but a very well-suited one. This was the return from the mid-season hiatus or... Christmas break, whatever you want to call it. Honestly, it's it happens every year, and it's it's pretty usual at this point. But I'm, I'm very very glad to see Arrow back. Actually, I was looking forward to this premiere more than any other show. The over the Flash, over Legends, over Supergirl, because I really 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 loved how they ended it off. Now this is obviously going to feature some spoilers from episode ten and even some episode nine stuff. So uh, just kind of heads up. But of course, the very very last moments of the Arrow Season 5 mid-season finale, we got to see the return of Laurel Lance. Now, it was very up in the air as to how she was back, whether this was a new form of the Lazarus Pit featuring some maybe Talia al Ghul, maybe this was time travel f- featuring more of the Legends of Tomorrow and Sarah. There was a great chance that this was going to be Black Siren, and indeed it was Black Siren. Now, I'm so I'm so happy that they've, they've kind of Arrow, I guess, has adopted the character of Black Siren because originally the character Black Siren appeared first on The Flash Season 2. It was one of the last episodes of Season 2 when Zoom's army from Earth 2 came and uh, of course one of the the big leading generals I guess underneath uh, you could say uh, uh, of Zoom was the Black Siren character which obviously I don't know if if you're watching The Flash. I'm assuming at least most of you guys are watching The Flash or have been or have seen it whatever uh, basically, in Earth Two, there are it's like a, the the crime syndicate Earth. It's the CW's version of that. So there's basically it's just the villain versions of all of the heroes, pretty much for the most part on Earth One. And uh, Black Swan was one of those villains, just an evil counterpart of Laurel Lance. Uh, but she was apprehended on the Flash, and we get to see Prometheus actually break her out. Now we we know what Prometheus has been doing. And once again, I have to commend him on the villainy that he has produced this year and this season, making him at least one of my favorite Arrow villains ever, right up there with Deathstroke. Not as good as Deathstroke, but still uh, one of my favorites out of all of them. And uh, he he's trying to, like, I guess, mentally tear Oliver apart, which is something that I don't think a lot of these villains really want to do. You look at Damien Dark, he, he just wanted the Green Arrow out of his way, right? He just done. He didn't want him to interfere, okay? Ra's al Ghul wanted the Green Arrow, or at that point still the Arrow, to join him and become the Raz, okay? Deathstroke just wanted to take him down. Completely kill everyone he loved and kill him, okay? And then season one, you know, Malcolm Merlin, Dark Archer, just wanted the Glades to go up, and he wanted to, you know, just the, the Arrow out of his way. Here, though, you want, you, you see Prometheus, he's strategically thinking, how can I mentally destroy my enemy? Just just get in his head and, and take him down, and I think really a clever plan was using Black Siren. And, uh, you know, there, there, I was actually surprised how fast the reveal came early on in the episode, which really got me excited because I'm like, holy crap. Okay, you're gonna you're gonna reveal that this is Black Siren in the first eight minutes of the episode. God damn! What else are you doing? And of course, of course, this episode to me was near perfect. Near. Other than the fact... Other than the fact that they, they had to just slip in a big Felicity arc. Because you know what? Fucking Wendy Miracle comes in here. is like, my girl Felicity hasn't had her time in like five episodes. What the shit's going on? So the Googs gets in there and he's like, all right. All right, fine. We'll we'll throw the Felicity episode in with, you know, the Return of Laurel episode. It's going to be a good idea. God damn you, Guggenheim. God damn you, Wendy Miracle. There are so many other opportunities to make a really shitty episode of Arrow with just tons of Felicity, okay? you. I, I, I'm sorry for people who like this character. I don't know why. She is meant to just be a character who resides on the sidelines. Now, I know people don't like that. I get it, all right? Every once in a while, give her an episode. That that where where she's not fucking irritating to a point where she's not going up to Oliver and being like, well, guess what? The the team took orders from me, and I really liked it. And then Oliver just stands there and he's like, 
okay, yeah, f- sure. That yeah, I'll, I'll let you say that to me. Like, uh, oh my god, I, I have no, I have no problem with 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 men taking orders from women. I, I don't care about that. I care about the fact that that line was written on paper and the fact that they felt the need to put that line out there. And in the, I, I don't, I don't know. It wasn't totally, it wasn't totally Felicity centric. I really would have loved to see more though. Black Siren, which is obviously just another version of the Black Canary, versus the Green Arrow, rather than Felicity just punching Black Siren at the end. Totally stupid. Such a waste, I personally feel like. Other than that, I had such a great time with this episode. Uh, Unfortunately, though, the Felicity stuff was a big part of this episode. It really was a big arc for her. So... You know, it, it's kind of like the way I look at this episode is if, you know, you you turn in a paper, let's say it's an English paper, or, you know, whatever, whatever class you're taking, you turn in a paper and you do something really well. Like the paper's really structured well, right? And you get an A, but the grammar of it, right? It, it, it The grammar sucks. So the teacher will give you an A over a C plus or a C plus over an A, something like that, right? You guys get that. That's kind of how I'm looking at this episode. The structure and the ideas behind it were like top notch a great job great thinking uh but then they throw the felicity stuff in there and it's like oh c plus jesus right and you know you're not even sure which to put in the grade book and it's like god god what's going on uh there were some other really cool things though that definitely were set up in this episode though that really do get me going and i am a big fan of that and that all has to go back to the legacy of the black canary i was so excited by this uh the, the idea of the black canary legacy back even in season four uh after Laurel had died, and we saw the uh, Evelyn Sharp character, who later became Artemis on, in season five. Uh, we saw her take up the mantle of the Black Canary, and I really, really loved that. I'm like, yes, you're bringing back a new Black Canary. Uh, unfortunately, I mean, in a way, it was, it was a loss, but it was also a gain because you know, while she didn't become the Black Canary, she became Artemis, and then she went with Prometheus. So it's like, Jesus, what do we do with Evelyn? But now we're getting a new. Character character that will be coming that were the, the the hunt for the new black canary is on and we're not sure how this woman i don't even know her name they didn't give a name you guys can let me know in the comments who what her name is going to be i don't not i do not believe that she will be from uh the comics this might just be an original character i don't really know maybe not you guys again can let me know basically she has that sonic cry she's got the canary cry very similar and almost actually identical to the way black siren operates and which means she is a a metahuman, which means that she's probably going to have resided in Central City. Now she's in Hub City, probably chilling with the question. I probably not, but I, I just damn it, you know, question's got to be in Hub City. You know, that's where he's hanging out. So it seems like she is if just judging from the trailer for next week. She will uphold this legacy of the Black Canary, but this seems like it's going to be that sexy version of the Black Canary who wears all like the 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 tight, you know whatever you call those leggings with the with the square or the diamonds in them like the la- the lace latex i don't know what it is jesus I don't wear leggings but y- you you get the idea it's it's more of the black canary that we know from the comics which to me is highly important at this part in the game with black canary they have i i will say it okay I've, I've really grown to to love Katie Cassidy as the Laurel Lance character, and I I was very I was actually set on her being the Black Canary. They had her sister. They had set up all this great legacy for the Black Canary. They set up this great story, and then to me, they they, they didn't fully drag the name through the mud, but they kind of did by killing her off just. Just a little bit, just because of how big she is to the Green Arrow character. I'm serious, you would not have the Green Arrow without the Black Canary. It's impossible. So I was really enjoying the way that they were kind of pampering her through the season without her being a series regular. Uh, So after doing all that, you gotta be real here. They can't give us just another generic, you know, suited Black Canary. I want to see the Black Canary from the comics. Whether it is Laurel or not, maybe you can make this new love interest for Oliver, which I'm so for. Just get me, get me far away from Felicity. God damn it, I hate her. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's just, it, it's too much for me at this point. Um, but really cool things going on. Black Canary, or Black Siren has been locked up in Iron Heights, so that means that there's a really, really solid chance that we'll see her come back. Maybe later this season, hopefully later this season, 
or maybe in season six, because we know we're for sure getting a season six. Uh, I don't know what's going to be going on, though, especially kind of capping off season five and going into season six. You know, there's there will be no more flashbacks next year. Like, I don't know where they're going to take this character of the Green Arrow and what villains are they going to choose? And will it be the final season? And if it's not the final season, how do you set up for a season seven? I think they've got some fantastic, I mean fantastic ideas going on right now in Arrow. This is this has just been such a blast for me to, to to witness this season, and I truly cannot wait for more. So you guys gotta let me know your thoughts on the new Black Canary, the old Black Canary, aka Black Siren, and and, and what are you, what are your thoughts on Felicity? Am I going a little bit too overboard? Or did they did they seriously just dim down this episode just by increasing the amount of Felicity? I swear. There I mean look at Diggle. Oh I didn't even mention Diggle. He had a really great story in here with uh, uh, with Adrian Chase, who I'm sure you guys already know is a specific, you know, uh, character, but uh, whatever. I'm really enjoying that. I'm going to talk more about that next week when we focus he more heavily on that storyline. But I, this, this is a Black Canary video and it's a Black Canary episode. Uh, you guys got to let me know your thoughts on all of it. So thanks so much for watching. And I'm Ryder, signing off with Infinite Attitude. And keep riding, guys. Bye.